Hello and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Warhammer. So, I just wanted to say something before we start the actual episode here. And that is that in the last two weeks I had a lot of stress and life, you know, important decisions, life deciding things and stuff. My own life, of course. So, I, I was very stressed in the last two weeks and that's... Kind of, that kind of explains why there was only, ba well, barely any videos of Crusader Kings 2 in particular, and why I seemed stressed and like mightily annoyed very quickly. So, yeah, that's over now. So the videos are going to return to normal length, the 40 minutes per episode, and also I'm going to try to do the daily videos again of both Crusader Kings 2 and Attila. So I hope. That, you know, makes you happy. <laughs> but there's also something else important I wanted to talk about, and that's just for this let's play. I want to form Norska, and I also want to f ascend to be to Damonhood. Now there are two th two things or two ways I could achieve both of that. The first thing, uh, well. N not how I achieve them, but how I'm going to record bo uh, achieving both. The first way is I'm just going to continue this let's play n like normal. I, even though I do want to end it soonish, I can just conquer everything, record everything, and continue like well I've done it uh, before. Or I could pause the recording and start it up whenever something important happens. So I'm going to play. I would play a lot off camera. And whenever something important happens, like the ascension to Daemonhood, the forming of Norskar, or us going feudal, those uh, things like those would uh, be recorded. Please tell me down uh, in the comments what you would like more to see, so I can decide on what to do. For now, I'm just going to continue like normal and record everything. So, let's get right into it. Uh, we were in a Norskan revolt again. Goddamn zealots recording against me, and we were also fighting this guy down here, these uh, this feudal lord of Hal Shotland, <laughs> the Jörg down here, and I'm dead. I died of Fregal death? How did that happen? Well, so much to that. We are no longer... Well, nothing anymore. <laughs> Why? Why did you choose him as my heir and not my sister? Like, why didn't you choose her? Oh, I remember. I remember. I wanted to be her. But they chose him for some reason. Can I actually choose my... I can totally choose her. Uh, right now... My daughter is my heir. Which is bad. But uh, now... Why, why is she even my heir? What? Elective Gavelkind. Uh, I divided among... In the primary heir was elected among the members of the ruling dynasty. So I can rule whoever I... Oh yeah, okay. Sadly, we do not play as her. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try try to die with this character as fast as possible, because I want to play as his wife, which was the daughter of uh, was it actually the daughter of my old character? No. But yeah, I don't want to play as this guy. He has he has nothing. He has no money. He has no prestige. No piety. So, it's really sad that that the former character just died. And also now we're fairly weak. Um, oh, but our... Uh, <laughs> we are not going to get a revolt from her, hopefully, because she's my my wife. The Jürgen of Niflheim dislikes me because I have her in a prison? No, I have her in prison, okay. She's a title claimant and also ambitious. And she's my mother. What? Well, mother, I'm going to release you from prison. Uh, yeah, she she was a traitor, but now you're free, free to roam the world again. And also going to send you a gift. 
So now you like me again. That's good. That's one vessel out of the way that disliked me. And the other one is the Jerk of Utenir. Yuck. And we're going to gift him as well. Something is up with my mouse. <laughs> Sorry if you heard that. Uh, though I had thought Snurbjorn, nice name, guy, to be a more reasonable man, his request to be allowed to duel his rival was slightly erratic. Snurbjorn. Snurbjorn. Claimed to be constantly subject of a frost from his rival and ask for permission to defend his honor. I'm going to allow this duel. I don't know who's who he is and I don't care if he dies. I'm going to call in all of my vessels. Because apparently not everyone is in here. And now she is my heir again. She's a drunkard, she's she has a great pox, she's gonna die soon. She is a chosen one already, which I'm not. Which is a problem. I, I need to be chosen. Also, I need forces. My, my armies are growing, but it's a problem that she, she must die. Eh. Why would you vote for my mother? Vote for her. Well, at least my vessels are all coming to my aid. Apparently, does, uh, especially those guys up north. Super helpful. Well, we could declare a subjugation war against someone now. So that's good, but who is there that I would s like to subjugate? The guy of Quaka Drag, probably, but I don't think I can subjugate him. Uh, well, he rules over Norskan territory here? No, no, that's all Draven. He rules about uh, no Norskan territories, just Draven land. This guy, what are you? You're a cornet. I would like to subjugate you, but I don't think you're worth it. Like, that's just four provinces. The guy of Norsquick is not worth it as well. Uh, there's no one. Oh, what's going on down here? Sylvania has expanded, and also the Imperial Middle Land is fairly strong. I I'm kind of... It's kind of my fault that the Westerland broke up, because I've raided them so much. I'm also going to raid this guy right here. He has n barely any troops, and he's also revolting. And his garrison is not that strong. So, Chaos Raid on him. It gives me a bit of money. I'm just going to Chaos Raid all of these guys. Uh, I think that's kind of smart. Uh, I cannot Chaos Raid you, why not? Oh, because you're a uh, Who are you? I'm already fighting you, aren't I? No. But I can. How much money am I going to get? Ah, a bit. I do this for money and prestige. And now we're going to call in all of our vessels. Yes. Yes, please. The Canad of Vestlikusk. This guy up here. I don't want that title. How's it looking with the, my my nomads over here? That's the wrong button. Oh, uh, they're, they're still there, apparently. <laughs> Surprisingly enough. They're super weak. But they're still kicking it. Okay, so let's rise our own army. Or, sadly, they are only so few of them because we lost two of our territories to my wife and I can't get them back can I plot them back I can only revoke the Yaldum of Snara forest for some reason it's because I, I don't know why I can't have this as my uh, I can't plot these guys back I wish I could I could kill her but that's not gonna do much I remember the time since Crusader Kings 2 where you had just an assassinate button where you spent a couple hundred of golds for an assassin and you, you would just went for it and or go for it and it was like a 50-50 actually it was uh, based on your intrigue what kind of chance you had to just assassinate him and the thing is either it would just kill your target and I think it told them who it was or it could fail and they could send an assassin back at you for free, I think. And that, that, should, could, that really could end your game right there. Because they, they are going... I think even all of their family would then try to kill you if you fail. They would get really mad. You could also kill your children, I th think, in the beginning. Which you can't do now. I, you can do it in this mod, if I'm correct. Yeah, you can totally assassinate, uh, plot 
the death of your children. But you couldn't do that in in well, you can't do that in vanilla, if I remember correctly. Another mob of scum has uh, risen up against me. Well, at least we are winning over here. They are sieging these territories, so that's good. Should have probably attacked the orc as well. I mean, he he won't have any much forces. Someone likes me more. That's good, even though I don't need that that much. Who's the? Who's my vessel that likes me the le least? The nose one, a uh, noseless one over here. So that send over uh, my uh, scald, scald over here. There are some forces over here as well. What do we have here? This is <laughs> barely defended, and this one is. Uh, I'm actually attacking the one that's the best defended right here, right now. Oh, there, a Norskin uprising. Yeah. He is going for this army down here of Tackett's Cock. Hmm. My vessels are. not sure what they're doing, and more scum has risen up against me. Wait, two more? Well, that's a little bit too much. I hate infidels. I could usurp this title now. For whatever reason. I I would just lose it at, at the succession, wouldn't I? Also, we should probably focus on war. And get some more commanders going. Good. I should probably be down here as well. Yes, I am. But get me in the f center and some good commanders on the flanks. Good. Just in case we fight, I I'm going to accept every duel because the chance to die there is really really high. Okay, they actually won this fight over here, so they just need to end the siege and then this war is over. Good. Where's the other army? Yeah, they're, they're running over here for some reason. Let's split our army up. And send... No, no. Send one of them over here. They don't have any forces down here. So... Yoki Ryan of... Uh, this guy? It's not my vessel. He's the Yoki of Jotunio. Why does... Why do you dislike me, friend? You do <laughs> of course you desire a kingdom. Don't be stupid. Is my scald already over here? I don't think so. I sent her over here. Well, they're suffering attrition, so that's good. Uh, another title has been deserved, but this guy likes me. Good. How's the siege going? Siege is going very well. We're also winning down here. Am I leading this small force? Yes. Okay, so let's try to kill the army of Heimetriarch Britta. Who's the Heimetriarch? That's a good question. Who's the Heim? What? That's a religious title. Am I fighting against the Church of Ta'al or something like that? Who are you? Army of High Matriarch. Oh, is that maybe your? Let's let's actually search it up. That sounds like a um, High Matri. High Priest. Hmm. Britta. Only that many. There she is. The High Matriarch of Sisters of Faith and Chastity. She's a knightly order. Of some sort. Pff, I have no idea. This is a face in chastity. No, you do don't own anything, so except this title and that title has nothing to it. You don't have any troops. Uh, you're just leading this force over here. No idea what's up with you. Oh, there are some a thousand men. The Imperial Vestiment. Oh, of course, I'm actually hostile to them because I'm attacking one of their vessels even though he rebelled I have a daughter that is weak or soft oh my oh but my son my son is dim and my other son 
Some is weak. Oh, soft. That's that's promising. Okay, the siege over here is over. That the war is over. We gained the Yaldum over here. It's nice. Is it part of a bigger Yaldum or Yorkdom? Actually, it's no. It's just this over here is a Yorkdom on its own. Yeah, it is. And he's ruling over it at the moment. Well, what am I going to do with this? <laughs> Nothing. I'm going to need to give it away. Let's give it to. Welcome, witch hunters. Why would I want that? Also, why can I have witch hunters anyway? Oh, I had a witch hunter in my court, and I remember expelling her. But apparently, I can welcome them. No idea why I would get the wind shutters in my court. I'm openly Sir Nash, my friend. I think you're misunderstanding what's going on. I hate this right now. Sister Cordia, I just call in, yes. He's going to get the Yaldum of, uh, of Helgala. It's going to be feudal, actually. No, he's not. He's just holding the wrong title. I'm not sure what he's going to do with it. I'm actually surprised that he's not feudal. My cousin. She's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah. Vote for her. She, she's pretty awesome. She's str hardy, she's quick. This... Yeah, what? This ruler has been a secret service of the ruinous powers for some time now, and has finally proclaimed his allegiance. He or she has summoned the Monogami into preparing the wage war of conquest. Ah, oh, what? By the gods! Another Slanesh? For, uh, Slanesh? Surprisingly. Uh, you... I can't attack you. I could offer you... <laughs> vesselization, but I, I, I have a feeling that you would decline that. And uh, what happened here? Are you still revolting? Yes, your color looks very... Yeah, what happened over here? Something changed. Wasn't he green before? Am I still at war with him? Yeah, but what? Why is it in a different color now than this? I don't understand. I'm an idiot. That's... That <laughs> uh, I had the duchy map mode still open. How's the revolt going? Uh, we've driven them away from here, but we are losing over the, in this side. We have a lot of men running around, but they're not really deciding on whom to attack right now. We have some reinforcements down here, that's also good. But we need to... We need to get feudal as fast as we po as possibly can. But I want to be a daemon before we do that. And the Imperial Vestaland is actually attacking me right now. But we do have reinforcements coming in. Sadly, I'm not even in this battle now. Um, I'm going to get more reinforcements over here. Oh, we just lost. Wow. What? How did we lose so quickly? They really just punched us. Damn it. Now they are going to take over my siege. And we're going to lose this war. And they are going to take it. Damn them. Frey is, learning s is slow to learn to talk. Well, can we beat him? <laughs> uh, uh, we could beat him. That's actually not a bad. Encourage him by example. Mm. He could be diligent here, but he... That's a high chance to actually give him the stutter. Let's just beat him up. He's deceitful now, but... Uh, okay. Now we're going to send our army over here. Sadly, we lost this here. So, we were so close to actually be end the siege. I'm not sure who you are, but we're going to let you rot. But I'm actually going to take you as my concubine. You wear this? Well, yeah. Uh, take concubine. Can I make him a pet concert? Uh, what? Make concubine? Take concubine. Select a woman? No. 
Oh, I can't have pet concert apparently. Well, I'm going to make her my concubine. She likes me, still. Okay. Manage concubine. Your thrall stands before you at the mercy of your whims. I don't want to kill her. I'm s I have something special in mind for this one. The scared thrall is dragged in your private dungeon to receive whatever special treatment you have in mind for her. I don't want to improve her face right now. Uh, something really special for this fine specimen. Uh, the stables under the moonlight are such a suggestive setup. Your favorite horse is already struggling in his place, smelling the new mate you've brought to him. What a mighty steed. Sometimes you almost feel like joining the fun you're submitting to your thrall to. Uh, what? What? <laughs> Why not? Are you done yet? You might have underestimated the adult of your steed. In the frenzy of the passion, he ended up hopelessly trampling your body. Still <laughs> worth it. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's that's a fitting end to my rule. <sighs> Wait, what? Can still call in my allies. Um. Oh, I'm not even sure what to say to that one. I. The Cree mother has used her considerable influence to step in as a regent. May the realm benefit from her wisdom and experience. No! 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 That's bad. I don't want anyone to have that has titles to rule my. to be my regent. That's never a good thing. And they've. Oh no, they didn't expand. Uh. Are we just going to attack here right now? To end the siege and hopefully end this war. Uh, that was that was really something. Um, yeah. What can we do now? We are, we are incapable. We have a regent. Things aren't looking too bright for us. How's the revolt going? It's uh, going fine apparently. Probably can't even make white peace with these guys. Oh, we can. I'm going to do that. I don't care. I just want them to be gone. I hate rebels. I'm going to try to take out this guy. Uh, his garrison is fairly weakened. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem to just... Uh, I did make peace with the right guy, didn't I? I think I did. Hopefully. Yeah, I, th I think I did. Um, more infidels. Good. Yeah, sure. More infidels. Of course, now many of my vests are not going to join me. They dislike my regent, I think. Or something like that. Oh, we still need to take the city. Okay. Well, that's going to be uh, be quick. Uh, I can't believe it. Didn't I have a magician on my court? Um, search my realm for magic. Magic. Now, my magician or my... I had a someone a sorcerer on my court, but I totally forgot about him, and now he's gone. He's probably dead. I can't lead this army anymore, can I? I totally can. Really? I apparently I'm still in this army, even though I shouldn't be allowed to. Well, I'm just gonna stay and hopefully die in battle. Can I do it again? <laughs> as weird as it sounds. Um, I have something special in mind for her. I'm, I'm just going to do it again. Hopefully the horse crushes me this time completely. Something really special for this fine sediment. Oh. Uh, draining blood, cutting flesh. There's all sorts of ways one can refine the body or even of even the most unworthy subject. You're really happy with the result of your work. The deadly look of the thrall really speaks to you. Lean and refined. Is she scarred now? And I... No. 
But I took off one of her legs or something like that. I maimed her. Man. That was great. I can't believe that happened to me. That was awesome. I... Uh, man. <laughs> What a thing that happened. Uh, let's, uh... Oh, I can't even Chaos Offer? Let's ransom all of our prisoners. I can't Chaos Offer anymore. Apparently, incapable characters are not fit to become a daemon. Damn it. That's bad. Oh, actually, we still need to fight uh, this over here. I forgot that nearly. Actually, I completely forgot it, but it doesn't matter. <sighs> this was funny. Yeah, mother, why don't you fight uh, in the front line? As well as me. Should probably actually seek out some of these guys and try to fight them. Yes, I died. And I became who I wanted to become, I think. But I lost some titles. Oh man, I lost a lot of titles. Um, he died. So be it. I lost Sterling's lad and Midgard again. But at least I'll control the rest of my kingdom still. Probably a lot of my troops are going to vanish here. No. Okay, so what do we have here? Sterling's lad. For some reason she earned two titles. That's bad. I mean, it's going to be easier to kill her. And ah, I still rule over some territories here. Uh, excuse me? Who are you? You're my nephew. Well, nephew, I have really bad news for you. I need... Shoot your fort back. Can I get that? Yes, please. Hopefully enough say yes. No one? Well, that's bad. How about... This island? Sigismund Ra... No, it's Varaland. Ah... Varaland. Maybe some people join me on that one. Yes, no. Okay, they all dislike me at the moment. Okay, let's see. I see how it is. Master Cruelty, why not? Master Cruelty in the name of my Dark God. We need a court priest, of course, and he's going to protolize in my capital still. Because it's still not Slanesh now. Well, let's quickly take over this territory here. Yeah, this war is over as well. So enforce the demands. Get some piety and prestige out of it. We're going to attack this as well. And we probably need to wage war against Midgard and Sterlingslet. But one after another. At least we have the claims, I think, on it. Okay, the war is nearly over, but we still need to do a little bit of work here. That was the greatest and shortest time I've ever played a character. That was awesome. Okay, so Sterling's lead. How good are you? You probably are going to get... You have no vessels? Oh, you have. They are not tribal because they tend to go... to rise up the tribal... Uh, things as soon as they can, which is stupid, because that gives them much lower amounts of troops. So uh, actually, I'm going. Uh, I'm happy with that. <laughs> Less troops means, well, that I don't have to fight that many. And also, the vessels won't lose too many men in the process when I defeat them. Because I'm still ruling over this territory over here, which is bad. This this is just a bad settlement. A poor poor and bad settlement. But Midgard is going to die uh, fairly quickly. But apparently I'm not their heir here. My aunt is actually... You are a troublesome person. My sister of Sterling's lad is going to... Well, why don't we... No, don't kill her. Shuse is my heir. I don't like her. 
Even though she is as chosen. But that's not worth too much. I'm very happy with this character. She's very good. She has extremely well uh, good skills. Um, she is young and she's a good tactician as well. I think we can go far with her. And this war is also going to come to a conclusion very soonish. He's not yet ready to surrender, but that doesn't matter. Okay, so we're going to claim... What kinds of claims do I have? I have a claim on Vanaheim, Sillingslet, and Midgard. Sadly, not on these two territories here. If I were to declare war against you, for example, I can't, because I don't have the prestige. Okay, I see. Well, am I going to get prestige out of this? No. No, I'm not. So why don't we say we are going to attack Norskweg over here. There's barely any troops. Uh, maybe not Norskweg. Oh, I know whom. Who we are going to attack. This guy. He doesn't have many troops. And we're going to attack him for the De Jure claim on Krakow. No. The conquest of Krakow. That's going to give me enough... That's not going to give me prestige. Hmm. Well, we're going to do it anyway. And if I send over my own forces, then I should get the prestige out of it I need. If no one else is going to attack them. So send over our forces. While these guys are conquering the territories down here, which they are doing at the moment. So this war is going to end in a victory for us. We have a lot of money and piety is not looking bad as well. This character could become a daemon. Sadly there are not many targets that I can chaos raid at the moment. We need more borders over here in Kislev. And I'm going to try to do that. I mean if we look at the religion over here. They are mostly northern gods. As in, mm, these guys are Slanesh, huh? That's bad. But I, Oh, there's a lot of chaos over here. That's a nice picture for a Kislevite <laughs> religion. Just a bear. A lot of blind dudes over here as well. Can we chaos raid? Can I actually chaos raid him? Probably can. I could, I could try to hunt him down. But he still has the ring of invisibility. No. Yeah, you can have both rings. I thought you can only have one ring. But apparently, he has two rings. I th really? I thought you can only have one of the rings. Because uh, there's another ring. I think ring of strength or something like that. Huh. Well, anyway, I remember that when I played as a daemon net in Norska last time, I made a ring of invisibility for my... I made pretty much rings for everyone. So I... And I had only demon courtiers, so that was pretty awesome. <laughs> and they all had rings. They were so good. It was unbelievable. Let's actually form up our forces over here before we attack them. <laughs> I wonder who I wonder who script that event <laughs> and if there are any like lore reasons behind that event or if it's just, like, did that ever happen? In, I, I can imagine that happening. Because Warhammer is a pretty dark world. Um, and the Slanesh are pretty fucked up, to be honest. So I can definitely see that event be based on a true, a true story that happened in Warhammer lore. But still... The person who... Oh, damn it. Another revolt. But that's a small revolt, so that doesn't matter. But yeah, the c person who <laughs> scripted that is pretty amazing. Not that any of the other deaths are less amazing. They are all pretty good. I mean, look at look at this mod. Look at the... Look at, look at how big it is. Ra, Setra, really? That's a... 
That's the <laughs> name he shows for your kingdom, Ra, Setra. That sounds like he's a mix uh, of well, him, Setra, the imperishable, and the Egyptian god, Ra. Oh, this wall down here is done, so that's good. We are not getting that much prestige out of, out of it. We're going to get a lot of money and also piety. So why don't we go and oh, retire with Harem? Oh, this is totally possible. Oh, I didn't think... I thought that was not possible. That's giving... That's going to give us a lot of prestige... Uh, piety. We just need the money now. And apparently Hardyant is... Uh, wait, what? Oh, the... Hardyant, Hardyant and the Zealot Uprisings, uh, they both are fighting against each other. Interestingly enough. I mean, I can see why they were, would be hostile, but... It seems stupid that both... Well, they are both fighting me, so why would they attack each other? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. But that's not going to happen here. The enemy of my enemy is also my enemy. <laughs> and we crushed them. We're going to crush the rebellion here as well. Easy, easy. Uh, we're going to call in our vessels. And they... You have 10,000 men? You have 4,000. Yeah, there was someone that had 10,000 men. She's the one that's going to decline. The one person that's going to decline is the one that had 10,000 men at her disposal. I have a sl sneaking suspicion who that could be, but still, that's a lot. Uh, the rebellion is over. So that's a hundred prestige. Now we can... Well, I'm just going to send out my forces. I, s I still want these territories. Can I ju not just revoke them? No. Well, you're all now. That's good. Hopefully you die soon. Uh, revoke Yardford. Maybe now my vessels are more likely to join? No. Not really. Well, and they don't want to kill him, huh? No. They don't want to kill him, but they also won't revoke his titles. But I need these titles. I want them back. I also want this title over here back. So what is... Uh, if I am going to declare war against you, now you have a little bit more troops. Uh, you are defending against heathens. Oh, there's a heathen revolt going on. Over here in Sealing Set. Well, let's take out Midgard first, then. Can't also attack her because. Can't afford. Oh, I don't have enough prestige yet. Damn it. This will give me enough prestige from war contribution, but that's not going to last for that long, especially after the siege is over. Who's. Oh, he took over this uh, castle over here. We have weak claims to press. Claim Serling's Lead, yes. Oh, I can't claim both. I can only claim Serling's Lime or Serling's Lead. Well, I'm probably going to go for Serling's Lead first. Because Vanaheim is smaller. But that's kind of bad. But, before we do that, I'm going to end this episode. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, then consider leaving a like and a comment down below. And we'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care. Bye.